All right, Don, here's your 18th scale, uh, Ford Crown Vic, uh, decaled with um, Springfield Police Department from Massachusetts. This is, uh, you sent this to me, you purchased this from another builder, and it had a lot of issues with it. Um, the uh, He said it was draining a battery really quickly, and the pictures I sent you show you why. Uh, wires were not insulated properly, the solder joints were kind of crappy. Uh, again, I showed you quite a few things on there that was causing the problems. Uh, the siren switch was kind of sketchy, whether or not it was going to work or not. Uh, sometimes it would. Sometimes you'd press it, it would skip uh, tones. You couldn't turn it off sometimes because it would skip, a, like, from between the fourth sound to off. It would skip from the fourth sound back to the first one again. It wouldn't go to the off mode. So I replaced that switch for you as well. Removed one switch that didn't seem to do anything. have no idea what it was even for. Uh, your reverse lights had stopped working. Um, said you're having problems with the light bar, trying to figure that out. And something else. Oh, uh, you wanted me to change the grill strobes to all blue. Headlights to slow flashing instead of those crazy strobes. Tail lights, same, uh, same way. Uh, flashing from uh, the strobes. You didn't like those. Uh, spotlights on a separate switch. What else? I think that's it. Anyway, I'll do a quick video of the uh, vi uh, vehicle itself. I'll show you what I've done everything, then I will make you a video just for the light bar so you can have a better understanding of how it works. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Uh, main power switch here. Okay, a little push button. This push button here is for your light bar uh, program, uh, which again I'll show you in just a minute. This here is your switch for your spotlight. It's on a separate switch. And this push button here will be for your siren. Uh, a little bit easier to understand because there's only there's three different types of switches. So it'll explain itself a little bit better once you get the car instead of trying to remember what each switch does and not seeing maybe the effect that the switch causes and having a problem with really what's going on with it. So turn this bad boy on here. Uh, again, flashing headlights. All right, uh, you wanted the red and blue strobes taken out. Change the blue and the, uh, all blue strobes. It's mirrors in the uh, strobes in the mirrors we left alone. Uh, red and blue alternating there. Red and blue alternating over the rear view mirror. <clears throat> you can see your light bar flashing up top there. Uh, the red and blue strobes that we discussed on the rear deck. Left those. Added uh, circuit board in there to control your reverse light strobes. A little triple flash uh, wig wag patterns there. And then a simultaneous flash. Uh, flashing tail lights. All right. Of course the battery is still stored in the trunk. Uh, compared to the pictures I saw you, this is going to look a whole lot nicer because uh, I cleaned it up quite a bit for you, so it looks nice. As far as the wiring and everything, again, there was so much, there was a mess in there, so that's, again, the difference in between maybe a $150 car and, and a, you know, a nice $225, $250 car. It's $100 more, but guess what? It continues to work. Uh, the button on the console is still there for your uh, the sound card. So you know what that is. I'm not even going to sit there and let that go. Uh, you got that there. The uh, button on the back for the siren that we discussed. Uh, same siren most uh, builders use. So you can hear your button uh, being clicked a little bit better. And like I said, it's actually changing functions easier too. The, um, or properly I should say. The center button again is for your light bar. I'll press it a couple times. You'll see the different uh, uh, patterns and everything that it's got. I don't seriously. I don't understand the the hype of this type of light bar. They're not very bright, and all the patterns. I really don't think many buyers after they might sound good when they're placing their order, but once they get it, it's like, am I really going to sit there and play with all these buttons and stuff and try to make it do different things? But anyway, I'll make a video for you uh, that explains the the buttons a little bit better in the programming of the light bar. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. Um, the uh, the different patterns and stuff with the light bar. Uh, I'll explain that to you just a little bit better on a separate video. So anyway, there you have it. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll get it back to you as soon as possible, Don. Thank you.